Notre Dame kid. He's six nine, obviously two twenty one, big reach, big long guy. Uh, very good feet for a guy that size. Uh, he's very well schooled. Doesn't make mistakes. He finishes strong. He's down the field. Uh, you can see why people will be excited about him. He can stay on box in the running game. Uh, but there's a couple of things that are concerning about him for me. Uh, he's not a real good knee bender. He's going to be out over his feet all the time. He's kind of a push and shove guy in the in the running game. And a guy that's not real flexible, particularly with his height, I guess. But you know, you they got to really fight to play with that real good base. You know, with the toes out, good, setting their ass down and punching inside and all that good stuff. And he really struggles with that. Now he's conscious of it. He works at it. And you can see him do it, but he kind of morphs back all the time. What we used to call the bicycle stance, where your feet come together and. But he's athletic enough and quick enough to kind of finish and stay on some things. But when you watch him, he just he just does not. He's not a powerful guy. And it's hard for me to think of a guy being taken in the top 10 that's a left tackle that's just not a powerful guy. Let's just take a look at him. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And I'm, he's here on the on the left side. and But just in his stance, you see the numbers of everybody. He's got his ass way up in the air. You know, he's taught to do this now. He's got those, we call them rocker steps, the quick steps to contact. If I keep his, his weight down the middle, hands in there, stays on him, athletic, a little top heavy and all that good stuff. But he has success. You know, and, and he, he does enough of this stuff to get you kind of fired up a little bit. But... The same thing with the stance, ass way up in the air. He's very quick, tries not to cross his feet over, which is really good. He's been drilled and schooled very, very well with all that stuff. These are all good things, of course. He's a good finisher, hustles down the field, high energy guy, those things you gotta love about him. When he goes into pass block and, and make this contact, and they all kind of want to set outside a little. They all try to short set some things, depending on the depth of the quarterback's drop and all that good stuff. but. Once he gets his hands inside on him, see how high those feet are coming back? He cannot drop his ass and anchor. He has such a hard time. He Right there, he ought to lock this guy out and just anchor him and shut him down. That, that shouldn't be an issue for him. But he just he struggles with this. Again, he's setting out a little bit, a little late with his hands. But once he gets somebody gets their hands inside, they get a push. And he just can't. Again, he's out over his feet. His feet start to come together a little bit. Both feet at least twice here. Or in the air when he's got contact with the sky, does not have that that big ass, the, the strong hips, and the flexion that you'd really kind of like to see, particularly in a left tackle. This really bothers me. This really bothers me. If, if you, you need to come off this thing, engage him, and walk him off the ball when you're that size, and if you have that kind of talent, and it just doesn't happen. He's kind of more of a push and shove guy at times in, in the running game, unless he's on a down block, and then he can. He can clear it up. All right, so he starts to engage here, trying to uh, slide wall this thing and build a hole, which you don't like to do, but the guy's going to cross face him. Look at his feet, get cr all crossed over, and he's out over his feet. That's going to happen. You're out over your feet. You're high. You don't have a good base. You don't have a good pop with your hips. You're going to lose the guy inside. He does a much better job with his feet, contact with the ground, the toes out, and all that stuff. He locks him out. That kind of quits on but that, And he can do those things. You gotta really be conscious of it. He fights it, the height and, and the lack of, of hip flexion and, and hip strength. Well, he's gonna play obviously left tackle in the league somewhere, but he's just, I guess what I'm saying is just, there's, I have some misgivings about it. And he's technically very sound, but most, here he does a real good job. He just, a guy that tall that, that lifts those legs as high as he does and just not a good bender, just isn't, you know, but he's really well schooled in what he does. He's got a great motor. He can finish off balance and still stay alive and keep things going and all that good stuff. So Olu, Penn State kid, 6'6", 312. This is really a nice short set for him. 33 here on the defensive end over here on the right side. He must be an up and under guy. And he must know that because he's going to punch him a lot with that right arm, just trying to keep him from that back inside move. But here he gets up in the air and off his feet, but he's so damn strong in the hips. And you can see him anchored. That's that's what I don't see Joe ever do. What he saw, he's did a bad job with the pass set, got off balance, but he still anchored and stuffed it. You know, and I don't know how good this guy the defensive end is or any of those things, but at least he's he has that innate ability to do that. So he's high in the running game, and he's a guy that needs to get in the shoots and the sled. But he's just doggone powerful now. Plays high, latches on, and, get, and can get some good push. He really. He's got some real ability here. He's just a little rough around the edges. 
He, he's pretty smart in his pass protection. He guesses a little bit more than he wants. He kind of got he got the cheese here. He took the cheese on that inside move, but he's athletic enough and strong enough just to recover and finish it. You know, that's a big deal now with left tackle. You can get off balance on one foot and still be athletic and strong enough to finish the guy. That is, is that's a pretty special player. He is six six and he's a big dude. So he's late with his hands again. He's got to time his punch a lot better. Gets collapsed, and this I like it. Even though the technique's not good, he turns out. Gets collapsed, but you look at him, he's so stout and athletic and strong, he can still anchor himself and finish. With some technique improvement, with time in his punch and a better pass set, weight on the inside leg, all that good stuff, which he doesn't do because he wants to hop out on all this stuff. He wants to try and throw guys, you know, and it's, you just can't do that. Here's a bit, he's a bit of a push and shove high guy in the running game. Those. He didn't need to be. That's just not physical. He doesn't have to be that. You know, there's a bit of a project in some of these areas, but he's a very talented, physical guy that's athletic. These pass sets, watch 73 pass set over on the right side over. Now he'll vertical set like you want. He start. He keeps his weight on that inside leg and he'll, he wants to set out on a little bit. He turns. But as you go over here into the left side now and watch our man, watch him jump out here. And when he does that, he gets turned so quickly it's hard to pass things off, and then, of course, you get an up and under and all that good stuff. But he, at least there he anchored with that inside leg. And he gets away with stuff because he is athletic and he is so doggone strong. You would anchor, locks him out. That's what you like to see him do, just shut him down. This is this is pretty exceptional uh, athleticism. Watch him here for a guy his size. He gets beat inside, gets off balance, comes back, and has a athleticism to finish him. That's unique. For a guy that big at left tackle, those are the kinds of things like Orlando Pace could do. The law guys just can't do. I just think he needs a lot of technical work, but it's all there. He's high in the running game. He's a guy that you need to eat into the shoots and get him coming off the ball at a better pad level. But he's just so doggone strong and athletic with those big old hips, and he can fire his gun. You know, I, he's going to be a good player for somebody at the left side, I think. And this kid here ended up being my favorite watching him. Um, I didn't know who he was really, and I'd watched him play a little bit. I didn't pay a lot of attention to him. 6'6", and I think he played at 360 maybe, but he's 342. I think he ran a 485 in the combine, if I'm not mistaken. 35, biggest reach. This When he hits you guys, it, as a pass protection in the running game, he pretty much stay hit. I really think this kid's got a great future. He plays on the right side, easily seen playing over on the left side. A couple of those plays didn't transfer in the running game that were kind of fun to watch. Here he's over on the right side, just like his stance right away. He wants to set out all the time. He does not anchor on the left leg, which he needs to do, but now that's strength. And I don't know who this kid is on defense, probably not a much of a challenge, I don't know, but just watching the knee bend, the toes out, the base, the feet never come together, locks him out and just shuts it down. Just that's it, buddy, you're done, you know? Now, he he's, uh, starts on that inside leg pretty good. He's going to jump out on him and swing and miss. He, he's got he's in his head a little bit. He's going to settle himself there, anchor, and deliver a blow. He misses his punch. He didn't settle. So a lot of this thing is just technical. He just got he, – he predetermined what he was going to do with this, and he can't do it. He got to stay anchored on that left leg, and he'd been just fine. He'd have caught him on that back on that inside move. Those big hips and that strength and the ability just to move the pile and stay on, guys. The one thing you can't fix, like Joel, the, the legs, he fights to keep a good base. These guys naturally have that. They've got that toes out, the good bent knees, and the big, big, thick, heavy, strong hips and their benders. You know, th that's all given. Uh, you can help them, you know, the hands and, you know, set with that on that inside leg, be patient. Time your punch, replace your hands. Now, he does a good job of re punching and replace on some of these better defensive ends. This kid is just not confident against speed, and you got to work with him on that. But it's all there. This isn't much of a challenge for him. I just I just like what he's doing here, though. You know, the, the power that he has and the balance that he has to recover. It's just a technical thing for him. You get a good offensive line coach with this. I don't, this kid could be as good as he wants to be. If I had him, I'd work him on speed guys as much as possible because that's where he gets a little nervous. The big guys, he'll just maul them. I'm excited to watch this kid uh, where he goes and, and how he progresses. I think he's pretty special.